Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be making a dagger from this small chisel. First, I'm going to get off this plastic handle. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I had to use another chisel to get a handle off of this one. I really like where the ting's gonna be on this. I like how it's how it looks, how it's designed already, so I'm gonna be keeping that. But I'm gonna wanna lengthen the tang so I have more to work with and then I can shorten it later if I need to. First I'm just trying to get everything really flat for this hair fully. So right now the tang is an inch and a half. I wanna get that to two, maybe two and a half inches. This is really quick because the tang's so thin that it heats up really fast. So now, after lengthening a little bit, it's at two and a half inches. Now we're forging the tip. I don't want to mess with anything else than uh, the tip of the knife. I like how it looks already, so it's going to be a little bit of forging. Now I'm going to do the rough grinds, just grinding the bevels. The bevels on this one more difficult than other knives I've made because I need that center line. You got to do four bevels instead of two, so it just takes a little bit more time. The chisels are I made of tool steel. I've seen some that are 1095 and around that, so I'm gonna just treat it like 1095 steel. So I did three thermal cycles, and I've got oil that's preheated to 135 degrees. It's hard to tell from the file skating across. And I put it in the oven and temper it for two one hour cycles at 400 degrees. And they give it a nice straw color. If you go too dark into the blue, uh, it can soften it too much. So, straw color is what you want to aim for. I'm just using a flat disc to clean it up a little bit. I'll do my final grinds later. But right now I'm just marking how big I want the guard. I'm just going to out, cut out a rectangle a little bit bigger than I want. And the tang is really small so I'm just going to drill two really small holes. And I'm going to use a file to get it just how I want. I've got, there's Ivar, he's my hunting buddy, he's a red-tailed hawk. I'll be making a skinning knife to use for falconry uh, sometime in the next month. So now I've just gone over to my bandsaw, I'm going to cut out a little piece of antler. I've also got this piece of lava kiranite. 
And that's going to go right under the guard between the, the guard and the antler. I'm just going to make the hole the same size. Get a really nice snug fit. The part on drilling the antler you want to watch out for is you just want it as straight as possible so you don't go through the one of the sides of the antler. And then I started with a small drill bit and now I've gone up to this bigger size. And this drill bit was the same size as the tang. And normally when I do the epoxy for a full tang knife, all the pins in, and I'll have a whole bunch of clamps. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to assemble the handle and then I've got a different clamp I'm going to use since there won't be any pins in this knife. I'm just going to check it and make sure everything's straight, feels good. I'm going to clean it up on the grinder, get all the epoxy off, and do my rough grinding. So here's before I do any of the hand sanding on the handle. After the rough grinds, all the pieces, you can tell they're separate pieces. So I want it to look like it's just one smooth piece. I start low grit, work my way up to 2000. It just helps bring it all together. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video.